Can you start by just explaining the Amsler grid a little bit? I certainly can. So uh, it is a tool that we give our patients just to check for any changes to their vision. Um, it's probably the most instrumental tool that we give them uh, to show that their eyes are changing. And usually when they come in, they have had changes in their eye when we dilate them. So this is what it looks like. I'll just give you an example. It's kind of like a line graph, if you all can see that. So that's what it's gonna look like to a person that has normal healthy eyes. Um, however, if they are having changes to their vision, this is just an example of what it's going to look like. There may be missing pieces, distortion, waviness, and that's just gonna be an indicator that there's something else going on with their vision or with their eye. This one is actually in the form of a magnet uh, and it can just go right on your fridge. Uh, every time you walk by it, uh, you can just take a glance at it. Uh, let's just say the next day you're noticing, oh, well, there's some waviness right over here. That's an indicator that things may be changing with your eyes and we'd recommend that you go see an eye care professional to have it further evaluated. The best way to use it is just to hold it like you normally would any reading material. You're gonna stare at this black dot that's right in the center and you're gonna look around the edges. When you look around the edges, if you notice any missing lines, any distortion, any waviness, that's gonna be the indicator that there's something underlying that's going on. When you are checking the Amsler grid, it's important to check uh, just one eye at a time. So if you are checking this Amsler grid, you're walking by it, this magnet on your fridge, make sure you cover one eye, glance at it, look where I instructed you to, right around the edges of that dot. And do the same thing with the other eye, look right around the edges, make sure there's nothing abnormal, and then you'll know for sure. So just make sure you just do one eye at a time.